All right, so this is a demonstration of pulse width modulation, so PWM output on the Beta FPV 2.4 GHz Express LRS Nano Receiver. So I'm going to apply power real quick. And here's my TX16X bound. And we can see that when we will throttle up, there we go, we get throttled. And now let me connect the servos. So you can see I have one servo here, and I have another servo here. And it seems like this one's mapped to channel one, and this one is mapped to channel two. And once again, throttle. There we go. And everything's working. So I don't really see a reason why you would want to get the Express LOS to, to PWM converter, at least for wings, because now you can get three channels uh, directly from your nano receiver. So now how does this work? Um, it's relatively straightforward. Essentially what it is, is it's a custom build of the latest Express LOS version. And it's outputting PWM on the former Crossfire uh, RXTX um, lines. So one of those, one of those is channel one, channel two, channel three, and then the third channel is connected to the user button, the reset button. And I know this seems a little weird, but it's either the user button or the user LED which the LED is pretty important for debugging. Or there's also a number of free pins on this ESP8285. However, um, uh, my soldering tip doesn't go that small. <laughs> but yeah, so that's, um, there's still some issues. It's not 100% perfect. Like uh, right now, I can't, it doesn't seem like I can actually bind to my radio when the servos are connected. It's kind of weird, but this is more of a proof of concept to say to to show that this is possible, and um, for for small wings and small aircraft, I will most definitely be using this solution because it saves money. Because then you don't need to buy another receiver or an adapter, and it also saves weight because then you don't need to. Um, add a PWM receiver which is usually heavier and you can just use this very tiny one. Theoretically this would also work on the um, on the really really tiny happy model the EP2 one the one that's like this big or whatever so that's pretty exciting also but for now I have the beta FPV one and I will be using this in an, on an, uh, in an upcoming wing build. Uh, I, linked in the description will um, be the, the config file. You basically place it under uh, include slash target slash beta FPV 2400 MHz RX. And basically what it does is it just defines GPIO pins and it disables crossfire or express LOS output on the RX and TX pins. From there, you would um, flash and build it locally through the express LRS configurator, upload it via, I, I prefer using Wi-Fi because it works for me. And um, yeah, you should have a uh, working express LRS PWM receiver.